Hey, what's up everybody? I'm the DIY Guy. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install uh, or swap out your light switches for dimmer style. Pretty much this would go to any kind of light switch change that you might make. But in this case, I'm going to install the uh, GE12724 dimmer switch that's Z-Wave compatible. It will work with your home automation system if you have something like um, Iris or I have um, In Control. I actually got bought out by Axial server. But uh, anything that's Z-Wave compatible, um, this will work for. I actually have two of them uh, that I'm going to install. I'm going to show you how to do it. So to do this, a couple things you're going to need. First and foremost, you're going to want a uh, tester for your electricity just to make sure you're not going to get zapped. Uh, a linesman pliers. This is actually going to be useful for um, prying off the tabs on these guys um, because they actually don't fit very well. And you're going to need two screwdrivers, um, flathead and a Phillips. Um, I'm also going to use a light. You can use whatever you need to do uh, but once you kill the power, uh, it's going to be tough to see. So I'm actually going to be using my trusty snap-on light LED. Uh, this thing's awesome. Worth every penny to have a good light. Uh, so let's get going. All right, step one, kill the power, turn your light on, make sure you can see, and then take off the um, existing cover. All right, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is test it with your tester. I'm good to go. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take out the existing light switches. So, a couple things to take note. First, if you look on the side, there's two black lines. One's coming in, that's your power. One's coming in from the breaker box and one is going out to the light source or light, uh, the light in the ceiling itself. Um, there's also a ground wire on the other side. It actually looks white, but it is um, kind of that gold copper color. And one thing to note is with the newer, uh, with these newer style ones, I don't know if you can see, take it out of the packaging here, but you're going to have your two blacks on one side, and that's going to be pretty straightforward. You're going to just kind of make sure that you put the appropriate um, line and load. Uh, with the corresponding line and load on the new one. But you are going to need to note that there is a um, neutral requirement on this. So that's the white wire. So you'll see, uh, and you might run into this too, but I wired mine, I kind of daisy chained all of them together up here, but I need to now pigtail um, from that neutral group. I need to get two pigtails that I can attach to each of these lights. So I'm gonna go um, grab a couple scrap pieces and get some pigtails going here. Okay, I took a couple scrap pieces um, that I had from my electrical work, took out two, just about six or seven inch um, strips of the neutral white wire, and I'm gonna strip away just a little bit of each side. Alright, so now each one is kind of going to look like that on each end. And now I'm going to pigtail these into my new boxes.
once you turn the power back on, if you see those pretty, pretty little blue lights, you know you're in business. Boom. Boom. And now they're fully dimmable. All I got to do is get the faceplate on and call it a day. I'll do another video on how to hook them into your Z-Wave system at a later time. That's a pretty simple swap out of your light switches to some dimmable uh, paddle style light switches uh, that are also smart compatible with your um, home automation system if you have one. And again, I will uh, do another video on how to integrate these into your home automation system as well as Alexa, um, which I have uh, throughout my house. But uh, at any rate, that's how you uh, swap out your light switches. I'm the DIY Guy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. 